Welcome back to Meditation Station. I am Dr. Pamela. I'm so glad to have you here with us again, where we practice how to be still and know. So today, I want to talk to you and then lead you through a meditation about choosing joy and happiness, even in a storm. Or a difficult time you know it's so easy on the proverbial mountaintop to be like shouting but when we go through some things in life we're in those quote valleys how do we maintain that joy meter how do we keep happiness bubbling and i'm interchanging these words happiness and joy um if you want a full definition, happiness usually comes from the outside, things that are, you know that entertain you to bring you happiness, and joy comes as a gift to the spirit, fruit of the spirit on the inside. But I'm going to use these words interchangeably because you know what? We need to know how to navigate and still find that joy, whether it is the holiday season for you or somebody's birthday that... Uh, is a difficult time for you, or you're just going through something, how can you not be overcome by the difficulties? How can you keep your heart and your spirit in check and your mind in the right place and still have joy unspeakable? So I'm gonna encourage you right now to just close your eyes if you can and start that gentle breathing Remember, eyes closed, breathing immediately tells your system, hey, it's time to relax. And while you're breathing, here is a reminder to you that God's constant presence is with you always. Even in tough times, he's there. I want you to literally see, visualize the tension that your body is carrying, leaving you, because you know God is with you. And I also want to say, tough times don't last. They're temporal. They're subject to change. So maybe you can even close your eyes and see a time where this difficulty won't be here anymore. Keep breathing. Joy, as I already said, is a fruit of the Spirit. And we choose to believe that. Believe that it is a fruit of the Spirit, not merely a feeling that comes and goes, but it is a fruit that remains. It's like the apple tree that grows apples or the orange tree that grows oranges. You have a joy tree within you by faith, planted there by God. And it is there to produce a joy harvest for you, regardless of what the signs of the times are in your life. Consider this promise from Romans 15, 13. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him. Be still in this moment. I'm gonna read that verse over you again as you're relaxing. Absorb it like a sponge. May the God of hope and that's not I hope so, that's I know so, by the way. Fill you with all joy, that's from the inside out, and peace as you trust. That's your part. You trust in him. You trust that he's good. You trust that he will do what he says. You will trust that he's faithful. You trust that he will get you through. Keep breathing. When we walk through things, there is this point of acknowledgement. 
we do have to acknowledge the reality of difficulties in our lives. So if we just try to push it back and push it out and drown it out, it seems to get louder, doesn't it? So right now where you're at, I want you to acknowledge it. You're not like acknowledging it like, yeah, sure, come in, I accept you. You're like, I see you there. I do realize you are there. Acknowledge it. When we acknowledge it, we're taking the sting out. But now listen, here's the rest of taking the sting out. We need to find joy anyways. Joy produces perseverance. So in acknowledging that we're dealing with stuff, we're also acknowledging that we have this fruit of joy and that camping there is going to create the perseverance and the endurance we need to get through the difficulty that we are facing. Okay, we've acknowledged, we have made a commitment to joy and developing our perseverance. I want you to take a deep inhalation and raise your shoulders up as high as they can go. And then with your exhale, drop those shoulders. <sighs> ah, now drop them even more. They'll go further. <laughs> yes, they will. Take another deep breath and drop them even more. I want to invite you now to think of some small blessings or big ones in your life that are here even in the middle of the challenging times. What are they? Maybe it's your health that you're so happy to have. Maybe it's a support system. Maybe it's your four-legged doggy or pet. Maybe it's the ability to have the finances that you need to take care of something. Maybe it's family. I don't know. Maybe it's the fact that you showed up here today. Is your heart beating? That's something to be blessed by. Reflect on this right now. And express thankfulness and gratitude for them. And I want to say this, don't just think your thanks. Hey, I'm so grateful for, I'm so grateful that I, because what we think about and we say about brings change about. Take a minute here, reflect on a few blessings and then give thanks for it. Go ahead and do that in your own time. And as you're doing that, allow yourself to feel that gratitude because it changes everything and change starts from the inside. Maybe you even have a little smile on your face at this point. Allowing gratitude to change the frequency, uh, that magnetic field around us. I say, let's get to the frequency of God, the frequency of heaven. Allow yourself to, to just kind of rise up within through the experience of gratitude. Now I want you to reflect on the belief that God's plan for you is for good. Even if, even if it's not apparent, 
right now. Even if it's not apparent right now, I want you to reflect on God's gift for good in you. His plans are yes and amen to you. He is a good God and he's got good plans for you. You have the ability to achieve greatness in your life in all areas because the greater one lives in you. And God's plans don't change. Or I should say his purposes don't change for you no matter what plans get navigated, okay? Ah, reflect on the fact that God is good and that he has good plans for you. Give yourself freedom to emphasize, I am trusting that God is good. Just breathe here. Inhale. God is good. Exhale. Anything that would speak opposing to that. Inhale. That you trust his timing. Exhale. Anything that would cause you to doubt that. Put emphasis on this in your heart right now. As you're in this place, I want to pray for you. Continue in this place of meditation and worship and just being instead of doing. And receive this prayer. Father, I ask for you to strengthen each one listening to this. For the joy is found in strength and strength is found in joy because your word tells us the joy of the Lord is our strength. So thank you for strengthening them for helping them to center up on joy in all circumstances and trusting in your plan. Holy Spirit, I am asking that you would hover, minister, and fill each heart with faith, love, joy, peace, hope, and inspiration right now in a way they can't deny. Make your presence so real, even in the situations that are difficult, that they can't deny. And I pray this in your name, Jesus. marinate in this moment. Stay here about 10 more seconds. When you're ready, in your own time, come back into this present moment in the meditation station room with me. Feel the difference within from the time you started. You can come away and do this as many times a day as you need and you can come back saying, I'm going to center back up on this spot. I want to encourage you to carry this sense of peace and joy into your day. Take it forward. I'm going into this day strong. I'm going into today full of joy. I'm going into today full of peace carry it forward and I want to remind you in closing the joy is always within your reach it's always within your reach through faith and, the, and trusting in God Nehemiah 
which I already spoke about, but I'm going to close us with it today. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Have a beautiful and blessed, joyful day. I'll talk to you again soon. Blessings.